So, I'm going to go through balanced headphones today because we get a lot of questions about balanced cables and balanced headphones and what it all means. Uh, so I'm hoping to clear that up and save myself a bit of time. So, I'm going to start with what traditional balanced drive is all about. So for long runs of cable, to minimise interference, they came up with a system called Balanced. Uh, normally uses XLRs, three pins, hot, cold and ground. Well, essentially what you have is the original signal and the ground. And then some circuitry in there also generates an inverted signal. And how does that help, you may well ask. Well, <laughs> if some interference comes along and causes like an unusual little spike in your audio signal, it will cause it in both, because they're both running on the same cable. Then at the other end, they flip the inverted signal and combine it, so essentially this gets flipped over onto that side and cancels that interference out. So you end up with the original signal minus the interference. So it's a very simple and clever system. But obviously to recombine the positive and the, the hot and cold signals, the inverted signals, you need a certain amount of circuitry. And inside headphones, there is no such circuitry. So you cannot have... So that's what causes a lot of confusion. They call it balanced headphones, but headphones don't have the circuitry to recombine the two signals. So it, it means something different, essentially. So traditional headphones, single-ended, you've got two drivers. Each of them have got a positive and a negative connection. Now then, normally they share a negative, and in your headphone cable, you've got three wires. So you've got left, ooh, left plus, right plus, and minus. That can cause a little bit of crosstalk, because you, you're both sharing, both drivers are sharing that, that you can get a bit of crosstalk. So some people started using elements of the balance system to drive headphones which essentially then gave you four wires, two for each driver, no crosstalk. So that's the main, main advantage, so a lot of balanced amplifiers you'll have a four pin XLR or two three pin XLRs or another, essentially you need four connections to, for balanced headphone drive. Right, so as well as not sharing the ground wire, the other advantage of balanced is because you're using a lot of the balanced circuitry traditionally used uh, in amplifiers. Essentially what they do on a lot of balanced amplifiers is they will use, rather than using the signal and ground like you have in a single ended amplifier, they'll actually use the signal and then to the, to the plus and to the negative they will send the inverted signal. What that essentially gives is rather than that much voltage slew you get double that all the way over to here. Uh, so certainly on the small things like the Astle and Kern players where they struggle a little bit to drive the like, 250, 300 or maybe even 600 ohm headphones, doing it this way you're bringing more amplifiers into the into the game. You're essentially using two amplifiers per side, one for the positive, one for the negative. You get more amplification, you can drive other headphones better drive higher impedance headphones more easily. Let's move on to is it better? Is it better? Now obviously this is going to be contentious because you're never going to please everybody and there's, there's, there is no right answer. Certainly on small players, as I said, like the Astor and Kern where you're trying to drive high impedance headphones, it's got some definite advantages. You can go louder, it, it, it controls the driver a, a lot better. But uh, the disadvantage is obviously because you've now got four amplifiers, two for each ear, you've you've you could potentially have a higher noise floor. So each amplifier adding its noise into the system, you've got four amplifiers, more noise. So a good single-ended, a really nicely designed single-ended amplifier will sound better than a bad balanced amplifier. You're always going to get better channel separation from the balanced as long as it's designed properly. But again, a well-designed single-ended amplifier is not such a major issue. But comparing apples with apples, I'd say in general, balanced is a little bit better. Um, but it's going to vary massively from amplifier to amplifier. If you've got any questions, just stick them in the thing and I'll try and answer them. I might do a follow-up video. Feel free to tell me I'm wrong. I, am, I 
am not a massive expert in this. I, I am a product designer. I have done quite a lot of electronics work in the past. I have a small understanding, but not a total understanding. And there are people always uh, who will tell me I'm wrong. So, so feel free to do that, and maybe I can do another video and, and make the next one better. Cheers. Loving your work.